Hi, everyone. Welcome. I am from Canada, and I am a person who is reading tarot cards professionally. Um, we are going to look into your next month and your private life what to expect in your private life next month. I am going to begin. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, zodiac sign, signs. I am astrologist. And you can look at your sun sign, sun, moon, or Venus. And let's start with Aries of what the tarot, what the higher power will tell Aries about your private life. Uh, what to expect, what superpower from universe offers you as assistance for upcoming month, Aries. Ten of Cups, the happiest card in the deck. Ten of Cups is indeed the happiest card in the deck. You can rest assured that your private life will be very successful. If you don't have a family, if you don't have loved ones, if you are alone, this is a good opportunity to meet someone for love, for happiness. If you are in a relationship, this card promises you better, more sound uh, relationship where it will be more understanding, more love, more patience between you. If this is about your family, it's a happy, stable, pleasant, peaceful family life. So this is a very good card for Aries for our coming month. Let's look into Taurus. If you are, um, if you belong to Taurus, as as I said, Sun, Moon, Venus or, of course, rising sign. This is a king. A king is a partner. A king, uh, it's a person. Um, king is just a character. It could be any gender, it's just a character. So you're about to meet someone with a strong character, strong opinions, strong will, strong uh, person, uh, maybe strong in business or um, good uh, good and um, quite intelligent person. This could be you, a good, strong, intelligent person. However, this king is a king of swords. So that means for the next month, Taurus, be sure that you um, don't cross each other's boundaries because uh, king of swords might mean that there might be misunderstanding between you. There might be misinterpretation of reality and there might be argument so make sure that you are aware of it and you don't cross each other's boundaries otherwise it's good let's look uh, into Germany Germany card for you for upcoming month concerning your private life uh, Knight of Swords. I will tell you what knights knights mean in tarot, and then I will tell you what swords mean. This card promises you movement. Your life is about to change. There is movement. Some people will come to your life. Some people will leave. It all depends. Uh, you know, we overgrow things. Sometimes uh, we spend time with people with whom we are not supposed to be for a long time. And this meal might be parting, parting with someone who is um, who is not your person anymore because someone is running from you or you run from someone. And it's a good thing. Um, often we hold a hold for something that is familiar. We hold to something that we know. However, so this card tells you not to to hold to something that has no life anymore. So it could be a partner with whom you had a good relationship, but lately, no. Lately, you overgrown each other. Uh, nights always in tarot means movement, change. And swords move drastic change. Sometimes this change just happened, and we have no control over it. It could be, you know, a difficult situation in the world, 
right now. Maybe you live in different countries. Maybe, you know, the, the, the difficult financial situation is in between you. So you found job in one place, your partner in another, or you moved uh, from each other because of situation. So that card tells me that um, don't worry about it. You will meet new people. New people will come your way or if fate allows, you will meet later with better uh, life circumstances. But for now, it it is maybe moving into different directions. Don't regret anything. Just go with the flow and you, you will find your comfort and you will find your own people. So this is for Gemini. I wanted to make brief readings so that you can remember, you know, it's useful. Next is um, for the sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising Sign or Venus. Uh, the Emperor, beautiful card, the Emperor. The Emperor is a card of possession. What do you possess? What your partner possess? And what, uh, what are you about? How you see yourself, how you see yourself in partnership on, or how you see yourself in private life in near future. The Emperor card tells me that you're going to be okay. You're going to, to win something. You're going to get stronger. You're maybe as a couple, you're going to get stronger. Or your partner might find a good job or a good position, or you're going to move together. It's a comfortable situation in between you. So it's it's good, comfortable situation in your private life. Good card. Okay, moving on. And next is Leo. What do you know, do you want to know, Leo, about your private life for the next month? Hmm, it's a magician. First of all, of all, it's a major canon. Secondly, it is um, the first card, magician that promises you wonderful change <laughs> you're going to get surprised you're going to get ahead and your life is about to change to the better not just change because of circumstances world situation or crisis in the world right now crazy times we live with you but this card tells me that your life will fantastically change to the better Maybe you will meet someone who is like a magician in your, in your life. And uh, with meeting this person, your life is going to be totally beautiful. Like the world is going to be painted in beautiful colors. There's love, passion, enjoyment, and um, everything very, very good. Excellent read for Leo. Let's move on and... Uh, we are looking into next sign, which is Virgo. So Virgo and your private life next month, upcoming month. Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. Excellent card. For Virgo, this is your heart. Put your heart into what you do and you will get excellent results. Your private life. You show your heart. Your heart is going to be loved. Maybe it is romance maybe involvement with a new person. But Ace of Cups is a beginning of new relationship, full of opportunities, full of joy, full of possibilities. You're going to love your life. You're going to get beautiful, uh, healthier, uh, and vibrant, full of energy. Or you meet a person with such characteristics. It's a beautiful time you're looking forward to. Excellent card, beautiful life, understanding in relationship, or you, you will meet new person because aces often show new people. Let's, let's move on. And the next card is uh, for Libra, for Libra. Libra, oh, two cards came out. Actually, I meant to take one card for each sign, but for you, Libra, two cards. The first card is Knight of Cups. This is your new love, or it's a date. 
<laughs> or it is a gift from someone who loves you someone elegant someone who who is uh, good good natured cultured um, pleasant good character good temperament so everything good because night is change and night of cups is meeting a, a partner a person with whom you will be very happy second card second card is uh, the hanged man major arcana the hand man often shows us you maybe so there is no rush life is not a rush it's not a race life is pleasure and we forget about it especially nowadays with this difficult difficult time we forget that life is all about pleasure and uh, do we have pleasure or not depends only on us it can, we cannot allow other people control our pleasures and control our life and actually they can't sometimes we allow other people to do it and we think they do it but in real life we do it to ourselves Libra this card shows that you are in charge of your own happiness slow to to anything that is not good for you and enjoy your life so be slow for let's say wrong diet or wrong thoughts and be open to new possibilities the hanged man is a revelation. It's illumination of your consciousness. It's a very good card. <laughs> it happened to be longer read for Libra. Next um, sign uh, we are looking at is Scorpio. For you, Scorpio, rising sign, sun, moon, or Venus. Eight of Cups. Actually, it's a, it is a happy card. Eight of Cups talks about you going forward and leaving behind something that is not working for you anymore you know it could be with your existing partner but old ways of communication is not working anymore it's not that you're leaving your partner or your partner is leaving you no it is moving from something that is not agreeable between you anymore something that is not working and moving into direction where you will find new means of communication and new means of partnership. Eight of Cups shows you going forward with your project, with your family life, with your private life. Get ahead with what is good for you. Looking, you're looking here for solution. You're going towards the sun. Sun is illumination, sun is vitality, sun is um, success. And that's where you're moving. Maybe you're moving from one relationship to another one in, for some of you. And it is going to be a happier, more sound relationship. And yes, maybe you're moving from a um, crisis situation or to, to a better, more comfortable position or even into different country. Cheer up. It's going to be change to the better. And you are in front of new possibilities, new opportunities, and new happiness. It, it is a very good card, actually. Now, let's look into Sagittarius. Sagittarius. This is for you, Sun sign, Moon, Venus, or Sun, or um, your rising sign. The Hermit, <clears throat> what a card. Well, this is um, a reading for private life. So you probably live as a hermit. Most of us live now as hermits. Most of us work from home, post-COVID reality. Actually, COVID will never go, unfortunately. This is what uh, happened to us. And the world is now divided. We know this... Um, idea of we are building a new world full full of pleasure full of happiness full of honesty and we exclude from our new reality dishonesty terrorism and so forth so in this new world you're going to live as a new hermit here you sit yeah i'll show you closer you sit uh, on a rock a rock in tarot represents good foundation good ideas about your future and you hold in your hands light, the light 
it's um, a revelation. It is new thoughts. Light is um, it's it's brain. It's um, your mental state because light means you're thinking. You're thinking how to live, how to get ahead with your plans because the world is different now in, and survive in different world. We need to learn uh, new rules. And you are about to learn new rules. It, because you're a, a hermit, the hermit, you are a scholar, you will quickly adopt to new rules. Yes, maybe you behave as a hermit. I do all the time, and it's good. Because the clo closest person to you is yourself. And even if we live with partners, I do live with partner, I still treasure my relationship to myself the most. Because if we are not true our to ourselves, then cannot be a true, authentic relationship with our partner. So here you are you're thinking you're about to find new ways for yourself and maybe you, new language maybe new ideas new perspectives and if your partner is on one board with you on the board it's going to be happy travel together so this is for sagittarius quite philosophical read sagittarius very philosophical sign okay now we are looking at next sign which is um capricorn capricorn what do you expect, what higher power expects for you for upcoming month? The lovers, hooray, the lovers. What a beautiful, passionate card, red in color. These cards are very beautiful. They are like color therapy. And here you are with your partner, totally enjoying each other's company, each other's energy, in synergy of love. The lovers often represent new cycle of your life, new cycle in your private life, in your private love life. It could be a new partner, could be an existing partner, but you're not going to be the same anymore because change, the world is changing nowadays. You are changing as well. You are changing as a person. You are changing as a couple. And there are good opportunities for you to get better, stronger, healthier relationship. I tell you, the world is changing, but I have to add as esoteric, the world is changing to better and you have to be sure about it because you got the lovers. It is prospective to be happy in your private life, period, because this card promises you absolutely wonderful, wonderful relationship and total understanding if you do not have relationship this card promises you new relationship and it's coming soon keep your options open look at, look forward to meet many people until you choose yourself a person that will totally suit you what a great read for capricorn okay moving on aquarius rising sign Sun, Moon, or Venus, Aquarius. Not a very easy card. That's why I'll, I'll get another card for you as well. Maybe more advice. This is three of sorts, Aquarius. Some of you probably found yourself in difficult relationship, or maybe your partner has addiction, or your partner is, um, he or she or them changed character changed they became uh, impatient with you they became maybe maybe lazy do not want to invest into your relationship anymore or someone betrayed you this could be betrayal and you feel you feel abandoned you feel maybe hurt this card of emotional hurt if it's so or maybe the war divided you or separated you you have to go to exile and your partner is, um, you know, left behind to fight for the freedom. Anything could happen. But this card tells me that you, your heart now crying. And, you know, we have all 12 signs in ourselves. It could concern any other sign as well. Because in your horoscope, there are 12 signs. This is why I'm telling you, some of you who are watching right now this video feels hurt. This card tells me to tell you, the main 
rule of ancient medicine, like cures like. This card can cure your heart. This card tells me to tell you about angelic realm, where higher power tells you they hear and know and see you and see you suffering. And higher power wants to help you. Let's see what help is coming your way. I'm going to pick up another card. Two of Pentacles. You see, this is wonderful. So if, if there is a, a person who broke your heart, there will be two more people who will save your heart, who will help you to believe in love again, who will help you to unite with someone who shares the same values as you do. Because Pentacles means value. Two valuable people the universe will send to you and you're going to see whom you like best. Be ready to new opportunities. Don't look back into hurt because looking back is useless. It's gone. The past is gone. Look for future opportunities. This card promises you, to you at least two good opportunities next month. Now let's look into Pisces. If you are Pisces by sun sign, rising sign, moon or Venus. This card is justice. Justice is a strong card. And you're right. This card tells, tells me to tell you that um, it, you, it's a justified. You're right to feel as you feel right now. You have complete rights to feel as you feel right now. It is just. It could concern another person who, who hurt you or who maybe left you or who didn't, didn't suit you. You are right. The card is justice. Or it could be for some of you that it is a karma thing. Karma thing is something that we inherit from different manifestations, from different life circles. Yes, maybe it was difficult. Maybe it was a karmic relationship, so to speak, a relationship that makes you unhappy. But higher power knows that now you deserve a better relationship because justice get, tells you that universe is just. And universe knows that you are a good person and it will reward you with a new relationship where your partner will um, respect you because it's all about respect and where you will, you will blossom as a person. You will get support that is needed to you from your partner if you are in partnership. If you are not in partnership, Stand up for your rights, stand up for your values and um, be open to see new people since um, it is major arcana. Major arcana could bring lots of change, good positive change into your life. So this is uh, your tarot reading for all signs. I suggest you watch all 12 cards. It's not a long video, but it is useful because all signs more or less are present in your um, in your horoscope, in your birth chart. Love you very much. Wish you happiness. Take care of yourself. And bye for now.